Hello there, friendly unboxing fans and kitchen appliance and equipment fans. Today we are unboxing some kitchen equipment, specifically the Anchor Hawking 2-Gallon Heritage Hill Beverage Dispenser. I picked up one of these because I plan on making a lot more uh, tea, uh, iced tea to serve. I heard that sun tea wasn't so great, so I wanted to get something that was going to be sturdy enough to pour hot tea into and then chill. Uh, that's the plan anyway, so this is what I got. And let's find out together what it looks like. If you've seen any of my other videos, you might sense a little bit of hesitation here because uh, I bought some Anchor Hawking products before and they were all DOA. They, I got a lot of boxes of broken glass. So I'm a little bit worried. This one sounds to be intact, but eh, you never know. So let's hope, let's pray, let's see what we get today. And this looks like the thing that I bought. All right, so here it is. This is what you get when you buy the Anchor Hawking two gallon beverage dispenser. It is glass, it is heavy, but it also looks relatively sturdy, which is good because I'm a human being. I make mistakes like anybody else, so I like to have durable things if they aren't disposable. Alright. Avoid impact, it says on the ledge here. Avoid impact, not for use with hot liquids! Oh no! Ah, <laughs> exactly the thing I wanted it for. Oh man, what else does it say in here? Tragunda Mercoides Tricolum. I can't make out the rest, but oh dear. Well, maybe I can let the tea cool before I pour it in here. Kind of defeats the purpose of getting such a fancy thing, but. They didn't say avoid hot liquids when I bought it online. Womp, womp, womp. Well, the other half of the story is when I uh, saw these online, I saw people suggested that you replace the uh, spigot because it was plastic, and this spigot is plastic, and it looks pretty flimsy, so what I picked up to replace it was this nice metal spigot. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it now, to be honest with you, but uh, this is supposedly compatible. It looks to be... Identical size, I'm sure it will be compatible. Uh, let's prove that. This will take two seconds. Da, 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 da. Okay, more than two seconds, but less than an hour, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, so. This actually, ooh, this is a different gauge. This may not fit. Hmm. I'm not sure if my replace it spigots will work. Okay. As you heard, I dropped a few things. The replacement spigot. I guess this isn't flush, but
Well, it feels like it's making a good fit, but I will have to fill this up with liquid to be sure about that. I will leave it a little bit of a mystery for now, but I will write in the comments section when I post this video what actually happens. And if this can tolerate hot beverages, I'm going to go ahead and try and pour some in here. Uh, it gives a warning uh, basically for thermal shock around here. Uh, it says handle with care and uh, avoid temperature changes. So I think what I will probably do is I will try and pour hot tea into this and then uh, let it cool to room temperature before putting it in the refrigerator. And hopefully that will be enough to keep it from exploding in my face. Uh, this has been unboxing the Anchor Hawking Company thing. Um, by the way, if you want to get one of these spigots for yourself, this is the Stainless Works stainless steel spigot. Uh, I got this... Uh, here's the QR code, actually. This box had a little waterlogged. But it's the Stainless Works SSS fits 12 millimeter opening. Um, we'll see if it fit this. I will let you know later on. Thank you for watching the video. Here's some demonstration stuff. Just make this a proper unboxing just to show you what other stuff was in there. That was it. All right, anything in here? Nope. All right. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.